Good evening, everybody. So, the name. The name of the first poem I'm going to do is Love with an Older Woman. Yes, brother. I'm in love with another woman okay. who will soon be turning 60. Yeah. Her name is Jamaica. Yeah. And she always stays with me. She's not flat like Cayman. My girl has mountain assets. What can I say, man? My girl's children are the fastest. Yeah. She's sweeter than the sweetest sugar cane. She's got her reggae style. She makes me the best coffee. And I love her banana smile. And she's the first girl that ever gave me a key so I could come over and access her selfish more easily. Everybody has flaws, as everybody knows. She has acne, we call them potholes. Oh, yes, she can be violent. She has a bad and a mean side. An orange and a green side. A bounty killer and a bean side. <laughs> but despite all of the bad, I'm so glad she stays with me. I'm in love with an older woman. Amen. Who will soon be turning <laughs> Fruit for thought. Fruit for thought. The first bad choice was a choice of fruit. By our fruits, you know them, so here's my truth. As I lay on the table, all the cards that I got, like a domino game, six victory, sweet sop. I'm crazy about you, your chocolate skin makes me go coconuts. I go bananas for your cocoa touch. This type of stuff makes a man go crazy. Your cherry lips make me weak very quick, lady. I take you out on sweet dates, carry to a nice place, fine dining, wine from sweet grapes. Meet all of your friends, impress them so they can tell her how nice of a guy I am that's positive, pure, fresher. Call her time to time off of my line phone, sure she's the apple of my eye, iPhone. Put a ring on her finger, tell her she's the one. Brown girl in a ring, sugar in a plum plum. Carry her on the road in a banana boat. Carry her back home because we just can't elope. Oh. <laughs> Marry her in a garden. Carry her in a honey and honeymoon. Show my honey do my passion fruit. Be fruitful and multiply, which is God's first law. She'll be the beautiful mom and I'll be the papa. <laughs> Fight for like a fruit ninja by the food of my labor. Bread men are bringing fruits to the table. Embracing your good and your bad, because even when you're mad and you're red and you yell, that still gives me an orange. So as we build up our Garden of Eden, we cut down the tree of good and evil knowledge. The fruit of life will eat, and the fruit of the spirit will teach. So if fruit punch lines as far as my mind can reach, I plant you fakes of love. I plant you seeds of love with these fakes of speech. Can I do one more? Yes! Two more, two more. Two more. Two more, one more, because here's the thing. You want one more or two? Because I want to end with one specifically. Two more. So I'll say that one. Okay, this one's called Hunger Game. Anybody in here has ever been hungry? Yeah. Like, really, really, really hungry? Yes. I have a best friend. My name is Hunger. 
Though most people hate her, I happen to love her. She's not here just for the winter. She's not here just for the summer. And the 24th of every month is when we become lovers. She's not with me for my money. She's not with me for my dough. As a matter of fact, she only comes around when I'm broke. And that's just one of the reasons why I love her. She also has a great relationship with my mother. We grew up together, so we're bound to get closer. She's there with me when there's no bread for the toaster. I put a kiss on her lips to tell her that I miss her. She leaves her white lipstick on my lips when I kiss her. <laughs> and this isn't just a fling, this is the real thing. She even cares about my appearance. She loves it when I'm a thing. And you all may say I'm lovesick. I say, nah, I'm love and a wreck sick. <laughs> she is all I want and I am all she needs. To eat is to cheat, to feed is greed. My need for you supersedes my need for mac and cheese, rice and peas, beans, greens. Please believe that I'll be satisfied with sunflower seeds just to stay alive, though I bleed with guilt. Please don't see the milk that I'm hiding. I'm sorry. I've been cheating because I've been feeding. I need time for myself. I'm feeling suffocated. I don't drink liquor, but my pupils are dilated. I won't contract AIDS, but what's really scary is I might get scurvy. Wickets are very, very. <laughs> I've been swept away by your love. That's how it's always been. But on a windy day, I can now get swept away by the wind. And that is not cool. So though I'm glad I know you, I'm sorry, hunger. It's over. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hello? Double Whopper and cheese? Uh, <laughs> I want to I switch it up a little bit. Um, this is the last day of Black History Month. And I wrote this poem um, some time, some, around this time last year. And it's a poem, it's a letter of a young um, African American to God with some questions and God's answer to him. It's called Black. Dear God, what do you have against my people? You claim to love the whole world, but all men aren't equal. Why did the black race have to suffer so much evil? Hebrews were in bondage part one. Why are we the sequel? Why did you let Europe come and take us from our homes? Did you not hear our groans as we got whipped to our bones? Why did civil rights have to take so long? Was this the only way to get your nigger spiritual songs? I hope I'm wrong. Why white cops won't leave us alone? Why is it so hard for my dad to receive a loan? Is this the, is this the only way we could have been Christianized? Is it because Jesus is white with very blue eyes? I try to love you, Father, but I just don't get it. Black like History Month, I'd rather forget it. But if you have time, please respond to this letter. Maybe when you're done with all the white people prayers. <laughs> Dear child, there's a lot you don't understand. So let me explain it to you the best way that I can. There was a man named Noah, three sons he had. One Japheth, one Shem, and one named Ham. Japheth moved north and the cold made him white. Shem stayed in the middle and I gave him the light. Ham moved south and the heat made them dark. Canaan, Africa, all of those parts. Now understand how important your people are to me. When Jacob's family had no food, Africa was booming. When Israel de defeated Jericho on the seventh day, Rahab, a Canaanite, helped them, and so she was saved. <laughs> and so she was saved. And if you follow that bloodline, you can clearly see that through that very same bloodline came King Dave. But he didn't know David was of a mixed race. Who was standing on his roof and he saw Bathsheba. Who was married to a Hittite. Please believe. And if you follow that same bloodline you can clearly see. That through that very same bloodline came baby Jesus. Who Herod wanted to kill. A Roman who's white. So I sent Jesus down to Africa to hide. Now think about it. How can you go to Africa to hide? Your skin is white with very blue eyes. Mm. My child, there's a lot more I need you to get. Don't you know your people are the people of Egypt? The most brilliant scientists with pyramids and mummies. 
Hieroglyphics were the original emojis. Yes, sir. <laughs> and Nebuchadnezzar was of your people. That is a fact. Babylon, yes, the first world power was black. Mathematicians and inventors, they were from the get-go. Subway systems, long before there was metro. And some of my heroes married your type. Joseph married an Egyptian. Moses, a Midianite. Now I hear some of my white children talking to the slack saying all blacks are from Africa and they should go back. But if you go back, here's the issue. You're going back and you're taking all of your inventions with you. So that's AC, light bulb, car waiting. It's about to be a cold, dark winter, just saying. The pacemaker that keeps grandma's heart in a rhythm. And every music with rhythm, they're taken back with them. Yes. So you see, my child, what we thought just couldn't be. The people are black, genius, strong, and free. But I came to this world to save all who believe. If I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. Okay, you can follow me on Instagram. That's Dale dot A M Dale D A L E dot am um, you can also subscribe to my time you can also subscribe to my youtube channel on the same name just dale am and um, as i said in the intro i recently released an album which has my poems put to music um, it's on all platforms however i have a hard copy on thumb drives so if and I prefer you get it high copy. So if you are interested, you can come to me. It's all going for fifteen dollars. Um, so yeah, I appreciate the platform and the support and the love. Thank you very much.